I did not scan my memory, and thus I had forgotten that there was a loading screen here, and that really I should have started the recording at the end of it, not at the beginning of it, like some sort of dimwit. Right then, here is my hammer, which, goodness, here is no textures, which is a bit less good. Right then, never mind, none of that rubbish, let us boot the door down. And go through there in a minute. Um, did I? I didn't leave any like items or things behind, did I? I don't think so. Um, now I'm in a bit of a pickle here because on the one hand I spent all my money and I want. Oh yes, hello by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get all that crap out of the way first. Um, on the one hand I want to uh, go in there and earn a bit of additional uh, monetary reimbursement. On the other hand I want to get on with the story. So um, I do want to test one thing, however, and that's whether you get a different sort of spat of enemies, if you like. Any chairs? Not really. There's a bench over there I could I could wallop somebody with. Um Hi friend. Um but there's 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 no chairs. There's also a little table. I could smash them with that, but again probably not. Um because this is not an excellent beginning. Um yes, I have a funny feeling that you get a kind of a different execution chamber at every like opportunity that you have to engage in this little, um, forum of violence, because at the end of the last episode, I had a quick look at, um, what are kind of in-game achievements. You may have noticed sometime during the last episode, I did certain actions that earned me extra points. Um, a bit like uh, doing achievements and getting getting some sort of score out of it. Um, so I was just flicking through them, and one of them said defeat the final execution chamber, these being the execution chambers as best I can recall, which makes me think that um, it's not just like a repeated thing. It's not. It is repeatedly bloody. It's, um... Kitty yarns! I didn't even execute him and his head still exploded. Um... It makes me think that you get like a unique and different one each time, uh, with possibly, I don't know, like special rewards, or um, presumably there must be some kind of incentive beyond just the base money for uh, doing other stuff. So far, this doesn't seem any more difficult. I was wondering whether we might get like a mini boss at the end, whether it might have to be like a, a mini sadist, or. Um... Oh, that's a new one! That's a spicy death animation, that is! Get yards. Um, would you kindly, kindly just die? Thank you very much. I feel like I, I feel like a we didn't need a close up of this guy's thigh, and we also could have got a little collateral damage in there. But never mind. Um, at least this is warming me back up again, get me back into the combat so I can figure out what I'm doing again. Yep, and then you're the final one. Let's do bashing. It's like, an ex it's like a sadist's version of a nose boop. A real sadistic version. Get down. Right then. Well, there wasn't many coins, but it was a few. Alrighty then. How did I get out of here again? By going into warp, it would seem. Righty then. <laughs> okay, good. That, that wasn't too long, and that wasn't... Um, that wasn't too much of an interruption. I did turn the recording on, didn't I? It would seem that I did. Right then, let us go in search of our daughter. She's going into some sort of a vortex. You, oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure that I was in control of that. All right, then, goes off on it. You know. I thought the uh, child was supposed to follow in the parent's footsteps, not the parent following in the child's footsteps, but I guess that just goes to show what I know about parenting. The answer to that is nothing. Right then, let's wander through the cloud from the Sierra Madre and see what we can find at the end of here. What do we have here? Presumably another letter of diary from my daughter. What was my doctor doing here? I saw him walking down the hall. Is that Ruvik? Because I think one of the previous diaries said something about the father bringing the daughter here for... <sighs> uh, 
The Philip Chuckle YouTube channel. What does it specialise in? Playing horror games. Does it actually show off the horror? Not really, because, you know, the man's still an absolute moron. <laughs> there is something to be said for games that when you are off looking at your shoes as you tie up your laces, take your head and point them squarely in the direction of the jump scare before they happen. There's something to be said for that. Who will say, ooh, it breaks the immersion. Yeah, but it also fixes my broken brain. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Ugh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we're not going back that way, it would seem. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm very much enjoying this. I know I'm a bit rubbish at it, but I'm a bit rubbish at everything, to be honest. Everything from life to home invasion. Who's home have I invaded? I don't know, but you made me lose my train of thought, and that's 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 annoyed me. I've got no idea what that's about, but um, goodness knows. Let's just get our boots all grubby. Not that I suppose it really matters, because um, they're big Wellingtons, as best I can remember them. They're not exactly uh, a shiny pair of brogues. So presumably we are going to encounter Ruvik at some point. Although actually, now that I think about it, we're probably not going to encounter Ruvik, because Ruvik's left, hasn't he, according to those messages that we were reading, that he'd escaped via Leslie. So he succeeded in that, despite my best efforts to um, smack him in the chops. Alrighty then. Presumably this is... Yep, this is another save place, okie okay, dokie, okay, even though I haven't really done anything that merits saving it, but never mind. I know I must have seen all kinds of scary things, but I can't remember, and I don't feel scared at all. Ah, the the uh, the excellent benefits of psychological uh, myopia. Right, the amnesia, that's the word I'm thinking of. Not, not myopia, that's different. Um, is this another execution chamber? I do not know. Let's read this first and see what this uh, implies we're doing. The soldier. As before, with the death of 204, the rate of your daughter's memory has slowed, so it seems Joseph has finally died after about his sixth attempt at it. Or rather, my sixth attempt at it. And all the various different guys that have attempted to shoot that man. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All other subjects show more advanced decay than previously recorded, more investigation is necessary. Coinciding with this event, a pathway at the heart of the mansion has opened, and we have located subject 205, an ex-soldier who must be eliminated. Eradication of remaining test subjects will leave the girl the only one to retain any memories. However, there is a strong possibility that these memories will not be intact. Ah, as, as was alluded to in that note we just read. The approximate location of remaining subjects can now be determined, but the deterioration of the memories of other subjects suggests that full stem domination of other subjects may have occurred. The appearance of this new location within the manor house suggests the link with the Ruvik entity and it is believed to be a residual side effect of his presence. It is unknown if any part of his consciousness is retained within STEM, however the girl is now on a linear path directly out of our observable area. Influence of the Ruvik entity would account for this change. Cross-reference previous Ruvik case file as well as goals of test subjects discernible from the individual transcripts. I've got no idea what you're talking about, but never mind. So that's why we're going to go to see the soldier. So who's the soldier then? Find the door. It's over there. Alrighty then. Um, for the sake of commitment to what I began earlier, even though I'm not sure we really should, I suppose we should do a bit more violence. Goodness. This does allow me to do something. I, I, it goes back to what I was saying. Oh, hello. Hello, gentlemen. I didn't realise you were quite so close. Um, it allows me to miss horribly. It allows me to do something I, I wanted to test earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes, that thing, indeed. That's what I was talking about with like, those little achievements. It said that you could impale people on spikes. And I was wondering how you could do that. But you do it by grabbing them and throwing them around. Did you kindly... Stop being such a pain in my neck, you necklace number two. Alrighty then. Um, I am in a pickle. A big, exploding, pimply porcupine pickle, if I may. I see. So we have learned why those people are all red. It's because they can turn into those creatures. Didn't realize that. Alrighty, let me grab you, 
and I want to throw you onto this spiky thing here. Mm -hmm. Excellent, I'm earning all sorts of additional coins and pennies. Of this I am grateful. So can you execute these guys? Yes, you can. Executing them seems to prevent them from reincarnating. So it seems that that is a necessary and wise thing to do with one's time. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to execute the pimply guys, and everyone else I can have a little bit more fun with. He's realising that everyone is a pimply person. I should probably be using some of my other tools, some of my other bits and pieces. But of course I'm not, because that would require... Given the amount of brains that must have splattered on my face, you wouldn't think I was exactly in deficit of brains. Oh dear, we've got a pickle going on here. I really want to grab you and then throw you over to the... I don't really think I blew him up. I think I blew myself up. But we'll leave that to one side. Um, I, um, I forget what I was talking about. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm talking about it, of course it doesn't matter. Would you lot kindly stop smacking me in the face for five minutes? Right, let's do something a bit exciting. Let's use a Molotov. We haven't done one of these before. Um, there we go. Get rid of a couple of you anyway. Um, there was a third one somewhere, wasn't there? Was it a Gitty Yep, all right, I'm out. Come on, just kill him. Just kill him. Hit him, but you stop flying around like that. It's most annoying. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I was hoping to be one of these. Oh, no, there's big plump ones. Oh, dear. Let me, um, let me severely regret that I don't have this to hand. My giddy on home run, fella. Home frickin' run. Kitty art. Despite being over an hour into this, I still cannot quite get over just how violent this is. Really doesn't lay off, does it? Okay, I reckon he's dead. Are we finished yet? I reckon this might be the final chap. Here we go. Okay. Finish him off, and then we not like that, for goodness sake. Get your heads out of the gutter. I appreciate it's very grubby in here, but please do try. And then we go see who the soldier is. I've no idea who the soldier could be. Oh dear. I doubt it's some... Um, I doubt it's the detective. I mean, it could be, but I highly doubt it. I hear a, I hear a, I hear a sort of a creaky and a croaky noise, as if um, there's some sort of big machinery going on. Some boxes here, just match them, as they can't fight back, and that makes me feel better. At least I can actually successfully kill something without uh, screwing everything up royally. Oh, good, we're going back into the land of the meat press. I so miss living in the land of the meat press. I I don't really want to go onto that side, because I feel like if I do, they're going to activate. I could run past... Yeah, I could probably get through that gap, right? Maybe? Possibly? I mean, not really, no. <laughs> I got money? For setting myself on fire? Alright. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll try that. Uh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Does this mean it's put me back to before I had this fight in the first place? Or have I just started doing this again because I'm a cretin? I don't know. Um, let me get some pennies off somebody and then that'll tell me. Because I finished with about 98 coins. How many coins have I got now? Okay, I am doing this again. Alright, I apologise for this. Let's have a wee jump cut. Which is unfortunate because I really didn't want to have any jump cuts in this video because I really don't have time to edit it. But um, let me do this again for no particularly good reason, and then we'll um, then we'll go and get fried again, literally.
Oh, Crimson Chainsaw Massacre. That's funny. That's really frickin' funny. Alright. Let me just get a few and then we'll get out of here and we're going to totally ignore what an absolute embarrassment that was and how absolutely rubbish I thought I was. Alrighty then. Um, because we've got so much money now, I suppose it would only be reasonable for me to um, grab us a quick upgrade of something or another. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Nearly 20 minutes and I haven't really done anything. No surprises there for growing lunch. Probably buy some more dynamite, but I honestly can't be bothered. Um, maybe some more movement speed? I feel like that would be quite useful. I could get the next level of that, but I'm not going to bother with that actually. I'm going to get the next level of. Oh, I'm not allowed to buy that yet. Oh, why isn't that sad? Um, I suppose then I should buy a couple of these. I rather like these, and I'll buy another stick of dynamite and I'll save the rest. Alrighty then, let us save so that we don't make an absolute frickin' fool of ourselves again. And by ourselves, I mean me, exclusively and wholeheartedly, and nobody other than me, because goodness knows I... If there's anything on this channel I own, and it's nothing, but if there was something on this channel I owned, it would be my failure. Right then! <laughs> yeah, and like, look, it's safe all the smashing in the boxes and stuff as well. Alright then, so... Let's see, could I go through the door? As fat as I am, I'd still like to try and do that. Okay, so I need to stand in the middle, don't I? Like, by that slightly less uh, red one. Stand here. Let that go. And then run through this gap. There we are. It wasn't rocket science, it just required me using my brain for five minutes. Um, let's see, how can I get to you? Ooh, by using the this. Excellent. There we go. I'm not entirely sure you should be here. This doesn't seem like a very safe place for a child to be. Oh, giddy. Oh, how am I meant to get that? With great degrees of difficulty is the answer to that question. Um, what is that? Oh, it's a sheet. I do sincerely apologize. I got a bit confused there for a minute. Um, these are moving, aren't they? I should be careful with these. These will cut my head off if I'm not careful. Let's do that. And what does that do? Does that hold those two in the back? Yes, it does, and it shuts them down. Excellent. Okay. Um, can I pick this up without getting my mittens cut off? Just about. Mm. Unfortunately, I feel like he probably does, and that's probably going to get me killed. I feel good. You're wrong. Don't we need to get anything, so now we can go in here and find out who the soldier is. Alrighty then, can we figure this out from here? Those the really like big tall bad guys that had like the big they had like almost like a big plank of wood or like a big post over their shoulder I think. Um, this place is like a dream come true. I never seem to get tired here and I can fight forever. These grunts are stupid but they don't quit. If I could get them organized, getting a little sick of these deadheads. I keep blowing them away but more of them come. Somebody somewhere is watching me, but you won't get the drop on me. I can do anything I want to. I'm a rocket launching fool. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I don't even have a pistol, for goodness sake. How am I meant to deal with a rocket launcher? Oh, uh, dear. I feel like there's an icicle freezing my brain. Well, that's what happens when you eat a popsicle too quickly. They're trying to take my thoughts. Oh, good. The RPG sadist. Oh, hook deep. Like a little stupid. Hi, friend. Yes. I should also emphasize something I didn't realize last week. Oh, giddy arms. We should also tell him he doesn't have a shell in there. In fact, I won't tell him that because that'll help me. Um. Oh, oh giddy arms. I should probably find something to hide behind that's a bit more sturdy than this. Where is he? I have no idea. He's over there. The problem is, is the arrow disappears off the screen once um once he's actually like on screen, as it were, which makes things very really confusing. Never mind. Um, yeah, behind my big flapping pie hole, there's a picture of the baddie. Um, I apologise if you haven't been able to see that throughout the uh, previous week, and you still won't be able to see it now because I'm not moving the bloody thing. Um, now, what the hell am I going to do with him? Because there's no way I'm going to be able to get 
uh, get to him just to punch him in the face. I'm going to have to be more clever with this. Maybe I should try doing something with some dynamite. If I could get the dynamite up onto that higher level... Like that. I took a rocket launcher to the knee and now I'm not an adventurer anymore. That was a Molotov, which wasn't really what I wanted to throw, now that I think about it. It's alright. Just continue to get... I'll just continue to get screwed over by this very annoying man. This music does not seem as intense as it really ought to be, given the fact I'm fighting someone who has a freaking rocket launcher. I just did that for, like, my own comfort, you know, make me feel better. I don't think it really achieved anything. But never mind. Maybe if I could like throw a throw a chair at him or something, that would stun him long enough for me to um, have a chance of getting rid of him. Right. You, mate, have just spent my chair, and I like that chair. That was a comfy chair. I was going to leave my book on that chair later. Now I've got to go back to Ikea and buy another one. Never mind. The other alternative... Where are all my chairs? Oh, they're over here. I don't know. The other alternative would be getting a... Um, Well, that was successful. The other alternative would be trying to throw a trap at him, but that wouldn't get him down, that would just get him cross. Uh, think, think, Philip, think. Ah, additional attempt at chairitude. Come on, friend. His rockets can get through the banisters, my chairs can't. How the hell do I get him down from there? There aren't like any pathways I can take that would like lead me to a staircase that could get up onto the same level as him. There are lots of chairs around. I wonder whether the chairs might be more key than I realise. Um be careful. Be careful, Mr. Butcher Man! Don't want you to get turned into sausages. I don't think that's what RPGs do, but you know, if they did. This is what would happen. Alright, come on. Think, fella, think. Use your brain once in your bloody life. I have to try the chair again. I don't know what else to do. It's just, just, don't, don't, you just not throw and I'm high enough, my friend. Alright, let me get rid of you for no particularly good reason. Ooh, maybe if I could throw him at you. Maybe that would be more successful. Well, I hit him, but I don't think it did any good. So on the one hand, my plan was successful, it achieved what I wanted it to achieve, but I didn't realise that what I wanted it to achieve was not what I wanted. Alright, I can't throw those up there is the problem. So that's no good to me. I could, like, run around up there to get up to where he is, but that's going to be a hell of a trek. I'm going to get shot a lot. I'm going to take some insurance with me, that's what I'm going to do. So here's the insurance thing. I'm going to bash him about a bit. Then I'm going to grab him. And then me and my little friend here are going to go all wee walk. Oh gosh, that was a big, big tactical boo boo. This is not working. I have no fuel for that either, so that's a waste of frickin' time. I don't think that this is a good idea. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can trap him. There we go. I get the hammer back. The, the, the trap did not go off. That insurance salesman saw me in this trap. That man was selling snake oil. Is he going to give up and go back to the... Uh... I don't think he is now. There we are. That's all I wanted. I'd also quite like the hammer if that's all I could do. Gitsy guns. Okay, hang back, hang back. I've still got one more trap. If I could figure out. The problem is, you move the mouse wheel up and down to go left and right, so it's really counterintuitive. Right, here we are. A bit more bashing. Oh, goodness. Given I had no idea what I was doing, that went vaguely well. Emphasis on the word vaguely. Ah. Oh.
frankly, after that, I don't need a rocket launcher. I need to sit down. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so the ex-soldier, it seems, wasn't actually anyone of consequence. It was just a, just a bizarre enemy type. All right, um, where's my safety spot? Here it is. The first question I have is how much does the rocket launcher cost? I imagine it's pretty pricey. I mean, we pay a high psychological price every time we come in here because we have to do this. But, you know, other than that, other than that, what's the price? Only 80. That's not too bad. Um, I think I will buy it for the sake of showing off. Um, as in for the sake of showing you how the game works and, like, the stuff that's available in the game, not for, like, the sake of bragging. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should already stock up on the new stuff, because... Goodness knows I've left most of this stuff behind. There we are. Fully restocked, with the exception of the Molotovs. Righty then! Now that we have much stuff, where is my rocket launcher? It is here, and I have a mere two bullets for it, but that is alright. I think bullets is probably a slight understatement when it comes to describing the ammunition this thing catapults out. Righty then. Let's try to suppress my hiccups and have a read. Eliminate subject 210, psychiatric patient. Which is, I would have thought, Leslie, but then again, surely Leslie's left, because Ruvik left with him. And also, surely, surely putting me and my rocket launcher up against Leslie is kind of a David and Goliath battle here. The influence of the soldier subject has been negated. We have also determined the location of your daughter as well as your next target. Stem domination of your daughter has dramatically accelerated. It, you know what? I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I know correlation isn't causation and all, but it does seem that the more people I kill, the worse my situation, my, the worse my daughter's situation gets. Maybe there's a correlation there. Anyway, the um, the moment she completely subdued, rescue will no longer be possible. You must find and eliminate the psychiatric patient 210. It is unclear if the sudden acceleration in the stem domination is caused by 210 or some artifact of the Rubik identity. There has been some circumstantial evidence of his presence, but nothing has been verified. We'll examine data from the Rubik incident to support the supposition that reducing the number of test subjects will bring one closer to the core. Erosion of the girl's memories cannot be avoided, but we are formulating a new hypothesis to account for the recent developments. Transmission is more difficult in the basement below the manor. There are two targets left, but obtaining accurate readings are difficult. Okay, so there's two more people you'd like me to murder. I reckon I can about manage that. Sorry, I was looking up the time. I'm on a bit of a time constraint today. Alrighty then, let us go through here. My big tootsie! Is there any people in here who like a big tootsie? It's a shame you can't do a kind of a kick or anything in this game, just to kind of throw people back a bit. Um, okay, we'll watch this again. Did you see that pulsing effect that happened a minute ago when we were standing over here, which was a thing that Leslie did as well? I remember specifically in the um, cutscenes in the safe places, the detective, when we were walking up to him and he was like crouching in the corner, we'd have that pulsing effect happen a lot. I got a very itchy noggin today, and I apologise for that. I'm not sure what's up with that. Those are the invisible people, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The invisible ood people, if I remember correctly. Indeed. Found him with the memory scanner. Why? Because I'll remember where he was? I can't even remember where I was half an hour ago, mate. There's a coin there, which isn't really what I wanted. I mean, I do want a coin, but, you know, at the same time. I also kind of want to engage in horrific violence. Where is my friend? I could literally just wander around doing this for half an hour, you know. This would also be quite effective. But also, it seems that it's not effective in the slightest because I can't find him. Where the hell is he? I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, friend, where are you? I have a big spiky hammer, and it has. Well, actually, it has my name on it, not yours, because, you know, it's my hammer, not your hammer. But it has your proverbial name on it, because I'm going to bash you in the face with it as soon as I figure out where in the name of hell you are. This is the memory scan. This is the name for that thing, isn't it? I'm very confused. I'm really confused, actually. Where the hell is he? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I can hear its footsteps. There he is. 
Okay, he just appears for like a second. Okay, I thought he was going to appear with like a fanfare, like the coins did. I see. I made an assumption and we've spoken about that before. Alright, that seems criminally like a tutorial. And as if I'm going to have to deal with a bunch more of these crazies later. Alright, is that my job in here? Is he going to be um, the psychiatric patient's uh, bodyguard, if you like? Kids, yeah, is that a psychiatric patient? Looks more like Hermaeus Moore on LSD. Right then, um, subject to 10 psychiatric patient conjecture. Watching from beyond, writhing their little notes, transmission received. Look behind the brainstem and see past the perfect tense. You thought it, and I heard it. We grabbed the thoughts, now a new bone and muscle. All the different ones, all the same thoughts. Pulsing like brain radar, bouncing back. They're of me, and they're in me, but he is not. The serpent retains its form, but it stays inside. It binds my dreams. No escape, only craving, an eternal void. As it all becomes one in form and function, we join. We are the new being, hideous and beautiful. I think he's taken my soul. I probably wasn't using it anyway. I am his disguise. I've got no idea what you're talking about, but I have a funny feeling that I know what we're dealing with. Yeah, yeah, the thing that I muddled up for amygdala, which is a totally different word. Hang on, I've fought a creature in a parking lot before, and it was a pain in the neck of a creature. I should probably not be standing right here, I should probably be hiding behind a corner. If a car is flung at you, it can be knocked back with weapons! Ah, huh, alright, would you do that please, we can have a test. That wasn't really flinging, you know. Oh, good afternoon. That wasn't really flinging. That was a bit half-assed, my friend. Kitty, aren't John's a bit cross, and I'm a bit clipped. But no, that, that didn't get caught in QA. All right. Okie dokie. Never, Kitty, aren't Never mind. Should I just shoot him with a rocket launcher and get it over with? Because I think we all know that's what's going to happen in a moment. Well, it didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would, but I might be able to do some kind of melee at this point. Or, or, or I might get really overambitious and realise that my skill set does not prepare me to deal with this job. Alright, um, maybe I can like throw the cars back at him and then... There we are. I didn't really want to hit the normal bad guy, I more wanted to hit the kid. But never mind. Um, at least kids he knows. Let me, uh, hello gentlemen, this being a little bit of a pain in my bottom that I don't want you here right now. I just need to get away from all of the flying automobiles. Kitty, aren't we? I'm not on the autobahn. You've no reason to be going so expeditiously. Let me burst these boxes so I can get back past. I can't get through here. I'm too fat. And now I'm dead. Kitty, aren't Alright, rocket launcher time again. There we are. That worked quite well. Uh, I suppose now we're going with dynamite. We do wish I could fling these further. Again, it's not doing a great deal of damage, but never mind. Let's do a bit more bashing. What's that? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, that's a health kit. That will come in handy later when I inevitably muck this up. It's not. He is getting really angry about something. I think I'd better relocate my patoot to a different postcode. Um, yeah, let's come over this way for no particularly sensible reason, because I can't think of why the hell I'd want to be over here. But I suppose I'll try. Um, I highly doubt the traps are going to be any kitty aunt use at this point. Um, oh, bloody hell. I mean, I'll try a trap, but I doubt it's going to work. No kitty aunt, would you stop yelling at me or whatever it is you're doing? Go on, step on that. Yep, yep, that was about as useful as the famous chocolate teapot. Um... I'm going to stand over here and try and reflect a car back at him next time he chucks one at me, because I'm kind of running out of options at this point, because he's a bit too big to just boop him on the nose. Well, come on, get on with it. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I'll boop you, though. Boop. Boop. And thrice boop. 
There we are. Job done. Seriously, what the hell am I gonna do with this kid? Um, let me re-examine my portfolio. <laughs> my portfolio says I'm screwed. I could use my chainsaw, but what good would that do me? That's still a melee weapon that would get me far too close for comfort. I could throw someone at him, but again, I doubt that would do any good either. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Kitty, aren't he? He's too close for comfort. Um, oh, Kitty, aren't he? Still too close for comfort. Pinch of soda or otherwise. Um, I suppose we'll try with the chainsaw. Goodness knows this isn't going to work. No, that didn't work. I will get the health kit, though. Um, um, <laughs> bash on, I suppose. Not me. I suppose I didn't preface who I was supposed to be bashing. I suppose they could have been interpreted as me, myself, and I. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> pick up. Pick up what? Pick, pick, pick. I have no idea. I thought I was picking up a fire extinguisher. I clearly wasn't. I really should have upgraded the ammunition capacity on that rocket launcher. Um, is there anything in here? Like some, some other items? There's money. I can't really kill someone with money. You know, I'm not exactly a mob boss. I don't really work that way. <sighs> dear, 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 dear. I suppose, for no particular good reason, I'll throw you in again. See, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. That might be like a weak spot that if you shoot with a rocket launcher at that point, you're in a good situation. But I'm clearly not in a good situation because I've run out of cars. Um, there's still this car. Maybe if I stand on the far side of this car, he'll throw it and then I can um, knock it back at him. Here we go. Come on. That didn't work. Much like everything else I've ever attempted to succeed at in life, that didn't frickin' work. Would you kindly stop doing that, you pain in the backside? I don't see that I've really got any choice at this point. Other than to try and chase all the living hell out of this kid. Well, that's good, because for a moment there I wasn't sure whether I died or he died. <laughs> I'm glad it was him and not me. Right then. Could I please not leave immediately, because I really want to go and get the health kit? No, I've left immediately. That's nice. That's nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <sighs> it's alright, mate. You can put the chainsaw down now. Thank you. I, um, I, 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 If you'd described this to me in terms of fighting most of the same bosses again, I wouldn't have been particularly enthused about this idea, but, um, the fact that you've got such a different weapon set and you really do have to employ a degree of tactics really does make a big difference, so. Alrighty then, what should we see? Should we trot about a bit faster, or shall we, um, oh, I really want more rockets, though. I feel like that isn't wholly necessary. I'm gonna go for extra rockets, I think. And some more Molotovs. And some dynamite. And that, because why not? In for a penny, in for a pound. Ing, probably, if I don't get any better at this freaking game. Damn, <laughs> No, I didn't want to over. No, you never overwrite a. S oh, I've run out of snow spot. Overwrite a save in the middle of a recording. It's the first rule of not being crap at this, which begs the question why I'm still crap at this. Um, yes, I apologize if I'm in a bit of a funny mood today. There weren't any healing kits that I left back here, were there? Um, no. no, there's just back here again, and I cannot climb out for I do not have legs made out of springs. Which is a tragedy that I've been living with for many, many years. It's a shame you can't buy a health upgrade, really. Maybe if you upgraded your maximum life gauge, that would, um... That would do it. Like, refill your health as well as increase it. I seem to remember that happened in the main game. Um, I'm going to go through this little song and dance. Whether or not I'll show it to you, I don't know. But, um... This might allow me to regenerate my health, and that could be vital before going off to fight who I believe to be the um, final boss. Because they said there were two more subjects left, and presuming that one of them isn't my daughter, then not. Then I should um, probably, you know, 
be aware that there's probably only one more battle to have, so I should probably be well prepped for it. Is it just you? It is. There we are. You only need to kind of offset them a bit, and then he gets so staggered that you can just lob his head off. Like I've also realised he's naked, which I didn't previously ascertain, and have thus possibly have already been booted on YouTube for this. But never mind. You can't have everything. And this chap's already clearly had quite a lot, judging by his waistline. <laughs> oh man, alive! I want to impale someone on these spikes again. I like it. That's funny. So violent, delicious, and I've missed again. I'm gonna grab you and send you up there to join your friend. Oh, all their pimples explode. It's not pleasant. Alrighty then, let's murder this poor woman with a knife. Oh, giddy art, and then this happens occasionally. Oh, giddy art, where he kind of grabs you and then starts kissing you, and then you kind of wallop him with the hammer for a few hours. Ah, uh, yeah, right, come on, here we are. That's not really what I wanted. The thing is, is, I don't want to use up any of my hard-earned stuff that I've just bought, like all my traps and dynamite and molotovs and stuff. I don't want to... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, walk into this bikiness. Walk into this bikiness. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to waste my stuff. I want to save it. Save it for proper big battle with proper big person instead of fighting improper little people like this. I really don't like how they're invincible for the first few seconds. That annoys me. Kitty art. Kitty art. Do they die when you throw them off, or...? No, I think they only die if they actually impact something. Right, let's get rid of these two ice skaters, as they seem to be doing. Kitty art. Kitty art. I actually don't come on. Frankly, you can just stay where the hell you are, and I'll be more than happy with it. Again, with the flying eyes. Man alive, I love this. Alright, is that it? No, no, of course it isn't frickin' it. See, hitting them now is kind of pointless. It's only once their kind of entrance is completed. <laughs> Still cannot get over that. It's only once their entrance is completed that you can actually, um... You can start walloping them. Which is a shame. I don't like being delayed in my wallopiness. Oh no. There's two pimply people. There's a pimply person over there. There's a pimply person over here. I don't I'll be able to do both. Well, but it failed at number one, and now I failed at number two. Excellent! So when that whole song and dance, we did get a health kit, and then we lost so much health at the end that the entire endeavour became an absolute, unmitigated, unparalleled waste of time. Hooray! And I'll... Oh, I got a few pennies, but... You know. What good is money when you've no health? Can I afford to upgrade my life gauge just for the sake of finding out if it works? Now that I've got a few extra coins. Oh, get your ass through the door, man, for goodness sake. It's not rocket science. It's walking. Even children can figure it out. Um, yeah, let me just try this. Excellent. My complete guess was accurate. Right then, that is enough dalliances. Let us get on with the matter at hand. I do find myself wondering who we're going to fight at the end. Because there's that invisible snake creature that we dealt with after a while. So, or near the end of the game, rather, so we might have to deal with that at some point. The next phase. The anomalous readings of the Ruvik entity have ceased. Despite this, your daughter's progression towards stem domination has not stopped. Calling out Ruvik... Ruling out Ruvik... Uh, Ruvik... For a man who spends so much of his life studying, you'd imagine I'd know how to speak the English language, but never mind. 
ruling out Ruvik as a possible. Of course, too many R's in this. You see, I can't do that rolling R that British people are supposed to be good at, so that's why I struggle with these things. It is reasonable to believe that the only other test subject within STEM is the cause. The last remaining test subject is you. Oh, brilliant. Have you been in direct contact with your daughter, transmitting files on your daughter, but your location within the manor house? What? Your location? I think my location is here. It generally is, you know. Kind of above my feet, below my face, and in the vicinity of failure tends to be where I am. Ugh, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, technically I've already popped my clogs like three times in this game, but, you know. Oh gosh, are these like the original people? before they got all, like, corrupted. There's the sadist, I think. Um, and there... Well, there are Joseph's glasses. But goodness knows the rest of him isn't there. That fella. Why were his glasses just floating in midair? I mean, that would be a hell of an interesting thing, wouldn't it? If just, if just this was going on. You're like the short-sighted invisible person. Wrong button. Alright. I can't do that over here, can I? No. Okay. Right. <laughs> that was interesting, but weird. And then there's you, who is the... Oh, you're one of the twins? Hmm. But surely the twins didn't look the way they did because of the stem system. Surely the twins looked the way they did because of like the genetic deformities that they had. That's me through the door, isn't it? Probably. Probably. Who else have we got? Because that'll distract me from my own death for a minute. Here is RPG Man. Who doesn't really have the hair colour for a person I'd expect to be handling an RPG, but I don't know what this is about my assumptions about RPG people. And then who's through here? Oh, th this this was the guy? This was the guy that turned into that demon monster. Bloody hell. I thought, oh goodness. I thought, um... I thought that demon monster was made by like an amalgamation of people. Everyone's gone, indeed. Which is me. It might be eventually. Well, there's safe face, so one presumes the answer to that. It's safe to say. <laughs> that is me. Do I have to fight myself, then? Do I, like, have to do battle with me, myself, and I? Something is getting closer. I can feel it. I guess this is it. I'm sorry. I know you tried. So sad. Everyone's dying, and it's all so sad. All right, we might as well buy something, because it doesn't look like we're coming back from this. Let's splash out before we die. Um, anything we could buy? Not really. We could increase the efficiency of that, but honestly, who cares? Um, I haven't unlocked these. Uh, did I miss something? Do you have to do, like, more of the execution chambers to do that? I don't know. I think the only thing we can afford is this. So at least that means I can take an extra... an extra plap to the face before I get, uh... get died. Right then. This is cheery. Let's do another save, and then we will, um... Then we'll see who I have to fight. Or is this the, um... Is this the final chamber before I go through here? Presumably, yes. Well, for no particularly good reason, I'm going to do this. Um, because I want to earn extra money to um, to get more upgrades so that I don't lose at the fight, and definitely not because I'm scared. <laughs> to be honest, I'm more scared of the prospect of the series ending than I am of the, um, the boss fight. But, you know, don't worry about that. There are quite a few of them. Just chuck it over there. I love doing that. There is something to be said, however, for the like for the main game where you're just shooting people um, instead of uh, bashing them about. Because when you're slightly further away from them, it gives you a little bit more time to admire their character. Because it's a little difficult sometimes when they've got their bits of rebar to actually um, 
really admire the, 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 the detail and the design of the bad guys. I mean, you can join the executions, but then most of them aren't there at that point, because, you know, most of their faces left the building. And also the space-time continuum. Um, so there is a certain charm to the gun combat compared to this. Just in allowing you to appreciate the artist's work. Because goodness knows these guys aren't hanging up. Ooh. I don't really want to start with you, mate. I'd rather, I'd rather finish. I'd rather finish with someone else first. Right. I'll throw you at you, miss completely, and then get booked on the nose by a big bulbous person. Isn't that brilliant? I don't guess you people are stupid enough to run into this, are you? Not quite, no. I feel like you're nearly stupid enough, but not quite stupid enough. Let's see if I can catch you. Yes, and then I can throw you in the complete wrong direction and fail miserably at everything and make myself look like an absolute genius. Brilliant! May I have you, please? Come here. I need you for things. And. Oh, they are stupid enough to walk into that! I see. It was just some of them are occasionally stupid enough. Not all of them are perpetually stupid enough. Uh, any more? Any more people who want to get bashed in the face? I'm a professional face basher, don't you know? But frankly, I'll bash any bit of you you want. Oh, kid, including the wall, it seems. Oh dear, the only thing I don't like about the executions is that it, it often kind of repositions you um, for them. If you're like not standing in a place that's very convenient for the animation, as it were. Goodness, I didn't need to see that. I saw two things. They were round. I didn't wish to see them. And I don't wish to see them ever again. Um, but yeah, if you activate it, would you stop trying to grab me, mate? If you activate the executions, you... Um, you sometimes get moved to a different place where the animation can work a little bit better but then it means when you come out of it you go back to where you were standing before which isn't where you were standing in the cutscene which is kind of confusing for somebody as stupid as me would you, would you like to like charge or, or do something you know charge me a late fee or some sort of rubbish there we are because then he gets tucked out and then I can push him out of it he looks so sad. It seems criminal. Don't you go away. Interrupting people should be criminal. You should be able to arrest people for that. Goodness, the cleaners are quick in this place, aren't they? Dear, 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 dear. Right, come on. Let's bash you about a bit with your nail bat. Or oh, Fallout 4, as it was. Kids, yawns. Kids, yawns. I'm, I'm sort of surrounded a little bit. Yeah, because you kind of take a second in the cutscene to kind of get a get to grips with where all the bad guys are. So you think, okay, now I need to like run off to the left, for example, because there's a gap there. I could I could get through there um, and get away from the bad guys. That would be like my escape route, as it were. Would you Would you kindly just executionalize this, mate? Perform your namesake and get on with your job. Thank you. Yeah, and then when you move to a different place, you get all confused. At least I do. I can't speak for anyone else. It's not a good impression. Where the hell did you go? I don't know, but you're going to the middle of next week. Just by my home run arms ring. There we are, excellent. That's what I want. Okay, last person? Last person. There we go. Oh, let's finish you off. Although, to be honest, it seems like it would be a bit of a mercy killing, judging by the amount of injury you already seem to have sustained. Okay, we actually do have enough money to get an upgrade. Um, which I must confess I didn't think would be the reality of the situation. So, um, let me quickly pick something. We could probably restock the rocket launcher, maybe? I think that's about 80, isn't it? Um, we could restock that. Oh, we've already got full on that. Oh, right then. Um, we could, yeah, we could sort that out if we wanted. Um, yeah, I can't really afford anything else. So let's go with that chainsaw. Um, a boost of damage and also the fuel efficiency for no particularly good reason. That's also refueled as well. Excellent. All right then, I reckon we're about as ready as we'll ever be. So let's boot down the door and get involved in a wee spat of violence. Violence against ourselves, possibly. 
So you'd think that would be enough, but seemingly not. This is kind of a dark and spooky all of a sudden. Um, I mean, I presume we must have to fight someone, because the whole gameplay has been about fighting people. So there must be, uh, there must be something. I shouldn't laugh, but it just reminded me of something. Um, there was an old... I don't know if it's part of the franchise, or it was just that one game, because I only played that one. But um, there was a Smash Brothers game that, if I remember correctly, it had a, a, like a campaign in it where you had to fight evil versions of yourself, and they were like shadow versions, and they were all like dark and spooky. Um, I think that's been featured in, 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 some, in some Mario games as well, now that I think about it. Guilty. And that's just what it reminded me of, I'm to fight like an evil shadow version of myself. Right then, directive number eight, self-destruction. Get to yard. Based upon recent evidence, this will be the final test. A single subject has been stealing the influence of each subject as they die. It is unclear if this is some aspect of their physical form within STEM or a paternal relationship with the girl. Well, you don't know it's me? I mean, I can show you the birth certificate, you know. I don't know what like my relationship with her mother has been, but I'm pretty sure she's mine. That subject, the one that must be defeated, is you, just in case you hadn't got the message earlier. If you are to return even part of your daughter's memories and free her from STEM, you must sever your own connection. So the, uh... The paternal sacrifice. Eliminate the Dark Keeper. Dark Keeper, Like shadows. And... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, this is where we actually had a boss fight with the keeper at one point, isn't it? Um... Yes, it's alright, I did know that... Yes, yeah, yeah, I do remember. It was months and months and months ago, but I do remember. Alright, I'm guessing what I need to do... is lay a trap. I must find him, lure him, trap him, and squish him. That would be my rough sort of goal. Except I've nailed Baldi's where he is. There he is. This is a pain, because the switch is on the wrong side. Never mind, if I can trap him, we might be in business. So let me stand here. All innocent and vulnerable, please don't come over here and kill me! Well, that didn't work. But that did. So, you know, it's rings around about. Particularly me swinging a hammer into his face, and us running around, around, around as we try to try to. I was going to say survive this, but it's kind of not the point, is it? All right. Presumably he's going to respawn again at another point, out of another, um, out of another safe, and then I'm going to need to squash him again. All right. What side is he coming from? Over there or over here? Crush the Keeper once again! You say that like a some sort of game show host. Seriously, where the hell is he coming from? He's very quiet, isn't he? I suppose he's all sort of dark and broody and moody. Like idiot. Oh, for crying out loud, he's been clever. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, giddy aunt. He's like a samurai. He's very quick off the draw when he wants to be. Um, where's he coming from now? Please come from this side, because if you don't, it's going to be a pain in my bottom. What's that? Got a thing, I'll have to have no, no particularly well-defined reason. Come on, get on with that. I've not all night. Now, do you have the... Kitty, yard? you do have the common sense to avoid that. You absolutely intelligent person. This is not acceptable. Yeah, see, look, he's walking around that. He's clever. 
Yep, he's much too clever. He's too clever for me. But he can't walk around this. He can't do that. There's no way he can do that. There's no side passage. Hello, friend. Come into my side passage. It's safe here. Honest. Don't mind the big spiky thing. It's just for decoration. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> I... How do I put this? I'm not very good at this. As you may have possibly surmised to extremely complicated scientific observation, I'm a bit cretinous. Okay, there he is. I'd set it off early. I've been stabbed in the bum. I've been thrice thrusted. No, I that's not a word I want to associate with that area of, that area of anatomy, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> what shall we do? Let's hit him in the face with a rocket launcher. What could possibly go wrong with that plan? Where's he going? Where are kitty aunties right there? Right, would you like to, uh, like to, like to... Okay, that worked. I'm surprised. I really wish I could trap him, it would make my life so much easier. But he seems a little bit too, uh, a little bit too competent. Even if I used everything, it'd probably only be enough to kill him once. He needs to be a bit more clever and efficient than that. Um, I am going to try and trap him again, for no particular good reason. I don't even know why I did that. All right, let's go back to Route 1, I suppose. Let's stop trying to be clever. Let's try instead to just be a bit murderous. Idiot. You must kindly stop being quite so expedient, my friend. Idiot. Never moved that fast in my life. Just stop. Idiot. This is a little bit hopeless, isn't it? The thing is, is I need him to... I need it to kind of fall down while he is underneath it. Which is proving to be difficult. There's somebody in there. Hello, friend. Um, yeah, but the problem is, is when I'm standing... I have to stand near the, the switch. Which means... Let me just get this silly thing out of my way. Um, which means when he gets to, like, here, he then wants to charge at me. So perhaps what I need to do is just kill myself, it seems, if I'm very unsure that that could have been timed extremely badly if I wasn't careful. Um, maybe I need to like stand further back from the switch and then kind of charge forward and flip the switch really quickly. Or just keep trying random crap until something works. I thought I was ugly before. Well, I'm still alive, so I presume that he is, especially since we've got three different switches. Oh, I'm not in the cutscene. Sorry, I thought I was looking at something. I'm clearly, I'm clearly not. Okay, rule of three. This has got to be the end of it. Oh, good. Just when I thought this couldn't get any bloody worse. Maybe now would have been a good. Would you kindly move, man? <laughs> Yeah, perhaps, 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 where's my switch gone? Th th there's no switch there. All right, is there another trap that I can drop somewhere? Little kitty aunt. Because I ain't seeing one. Um, because the last one should be the one that's there, but there's no switch or anything. Um, little kitty aunt. I did not see that that was happening. Well, I... <sighs> right. I'm not angry or cross. I'm not the slightest bit angry or cross about the fact that I've now got to go through that whole thing again and it doesn't autosave even ever. Giddy yacht. 
I don't know, I suppose I'll go through the whole frickalicious song and dance all over again, shall I? Right, get up, you lazy, good-for-nothing, scythe-wielding wacko. Get over here and let me murder your face. Give me a minute, I'll get us back to the handsy bit of the game, and then we'll get back to business. Yeah, right, well guess what this ass hat has just realised. I was doing it wrong the whole time, and I meant to lure him under them and then drop the thing on top of him. You can do that, what you can also do is just kill him, and then his safe head will be left there. You can pick it up, you can throw it under the trap, and then you can crush it. Which is what you're actually supposed to do, which is brilliant. Now, given I've only got about another 13 minutes to finish this recording, before I have to run out of the house. Which means dealing with all this crap I can! Find the Dark Keeper. Oh, is that what I'm doing? I'm not actually trying to kill anybody, I'm just trying to find someone. Getting a job with the Lost and Found Department, am I? Alright, fair enough. Where's that healing kit garden? It's vanished into thin frickin' air, naturally. What am I looking for? Am I using the memory scanner for this job? I have no bolt it is. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for that. Um, seriously, can this job please end? There he is. We'll kill him then for crying out loud. <laughs> Yeah, you kitty. No, if I, if I frickin' die at this point, I'll get so cheesed off that I will do a little step with my small feet. I don't know why I said they're small, because they're size nines, which isn't exactly tiny, but you know. Not exactly Mr. Wolf's size 18, are they? You see, if you can avoid getting walloped in the face by him, which admittedly is really rather difficult. See, he has the sense to just stand back and wait. Which is too frickin' competent as far as I'm concerned. See, you can do stuff like this. You can, you can, you, you can fi fail miserably at everything you've ever attempted to do with your life, Philip. Yes, you can do that if you like. See, there, then you can grab his bonds. In fact, it's fallen right where I want it, and you can just drop it and kill it, and then it'll please be the end of this bloody game. <laughs> Well, it's the end of me, so I reckon it's the end of the game. I fail to understand that the Dark Keeper killing me doesn't count as successful elimination of the subject, but never mind. Right. <sighs> Sorry about that, I didn't mean to get angry, but I'm on a time constraint, so I was in a bit of a pickle. Might just make it. Sad, isn't it? It's good though, in the sense, like, uh, in the way it's written, I mean, like, taking an enemy that you hated in the main story and actually making them sort of human and relatable is, is very impressive. Successful release from STEM. Permission directives the further subject to slave or test subjects except for the girl, therefore restoring her memory. The girl became the only living being inside the STEM and allowed her to regain consciousness and leave STEM. In the Rubik case, the prevailing theory is that he left them by entering the body of a subject with us. The results of this experiment are a great step forward in understanding the dynamics of the stem. I love that you're sticking people in a machine and you ain't got a ball to see how the bloody thing works. Moving forward, recommend that the girl be placed under control so that the integrity of her memory can be determined. How about you let the poor woman go? The father's death in the stem was confirmed and through corresponding brain death of the subject. What? The corresponding brain death of the subject has not occurred. Hmm. The old codger might still be breathing. Potentially. I don't know. But I reckon that'd be about it. Indeed. Right then. I have to wrap this up very quickly. Which isn't what I want to do. Because I don't like ending 
series as quickly. But hey, this piece of music is uh, is nicer than what we've had in most of the other credit sequences, so that gives me a chance to talk. Um, man, I'm alive! I've had the time of my life playing this. Um, as I said back, <laughs> good last the uh, middle of last September, I think it was, when this all started. Um, I originally watched the Evil Within be played back when it was released, like 2014-2015 time, um, and it was a very special game to me for the reason of a story that I don't have time to tell you, so I'll have to tell you another time. I kept put, tell, promising I'd tell you that story, but I never got around to it. Um, yeah, it's been a very special game, and I, I, I love it to bits, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's been wonderful playing it uh, for myself to... Uh, go through it and have all of the gringy, uh, gr not gringy, grungy, that's the word I meant. There's a weird combination of grungy and cringy, which is a strange word I've just invented, but never mind. Um, yeah, hell of an experience going through it, uh, and, and, and really fun. Lots of stuff that I've forgotten, and, um, and, uh, nice for me to see, uh, a nice contrast between watching a game be played and also playing a game yourself and seeing really just how different it is. Um... Right then, goodness, I'm out of breath doing that. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate it. it's been a. Uh, I think it has been the longest series we've ever done by a very small margin. In the fact that I think it's 22 episodes, uh, Resident Evil 4 being the longest previous series of 21 episodes. But um, it's been a hell of a thing, and um, I very much, uh, very much enjoyed playing every little bit of it, even the bits that frustrated me and drove me mad and made me want to pull my hair out. But never mind none of that. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Um, I have also got the sequel to this game. When I bought this, the, uh, the, the second game was on sale, of which I've never seen. I've never seen anything of it. I've never seen more than like a couple of advertising screenshots. And I know absolutely nothing about that other than the fact that I think you still play as the Detective Sebastian. And I think it leads into the story of his dead daughter a bit more. Other than that, I don't know. But, um... Um... Yes, I have that. Uh, we won't be doing that next. Um... We'll be doing something else as the next series, but we will come back to doing uh, that game at another time. But I think it's time for a bit of a change of pace in... Si oh, Casting Boat. Presumably that's the name of a company. I thought, I thought it was the name of a person at first. I got confused. Um, this music is a bit scary. Can we, can we go back to somewhere quieter? Thank you. Very sad. What? Oh, you can see my times. That's good. Oh yeah, it, I remember I got 100 points, that's nice. Um, these question marks, presumably this is like the final the final thing, presumably. Um, there was a thing mentioned about that, like a bonus of oh, the sword. Oh, presumably for like um, Sebastian's battle room. Oh, maybe that's the final thing then. Oh, I really want to do that. Oh, Bloody hell, fine. I have got to go, right, right now, but I'm not going for you, right, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my seminar, then I'm going to come back, then we're going to have a look at this final execution room, then I'm going to say goodbye properly, so I'll see you in a minute. No, you'll see me in a minute, and I'll see you in an hour or two, or three. <laughs> right then, I have returned from my seminar where we modelled suboptimal extraction of renewable resource, which involved people going fishing with their elbows, but never mind, that's just the... <laughs> I don't know even what that is, frankly. I was going to make a joke about British education system then, but honestly, I don't even know how to do it. Um, I have no idea how to access this, um, this final execution battle chamber of doom and destiny, or whatever it is that we're doing, but, um, I think this has put us back to the beginning, I think that's what it said at the beginning, I honestly have no idea, um, <laughs> right, sorry, I'm obviously slightly out of sorts, I mean, I'm just gallivanted halfway across this accursed city, but never mind, um, let me... Realise that this is an opportunity for me to tell you that story I've never got around to. Um, let me see if I can get us to a point where we can access at least 
um, access at least the first execution chamber and see if it's there. If we can't find it immediately, then I will look up online how you access it and whether it's necessary to, like, get all the way back to the end of the game, for example. Because if so, I could do that, it wouldn't take very long, but it would be a pain in my neck. So, um, we shall see. Goodness, this is like, um, <laughs> this reminds me of when we finished Resident Evil 4 and we went back to the beginning for five minutes whilst wearing that tuxedo. Why is there no man here that wishes to be murdered? There was a man here that wished to be murdered and now there is not. Hmm, there she is, as, as per the usual. As expected. Why was there no man to kill me? Why, why did that happen? Is, is that because of the new game plus or is that because of something else entirely? I have no idea whatsoever. Um... And I still have my money. Do I still have all of my skills and upgrades? Presumably if it's New Game Plus. Um, yes, seemingly I do. And I also have the sword. I suppose we should buy the sword for the sake of it. Um, and that also has limited uses, naturally. Fair enough then. Okay, well at least that means I can show off the sword as well. Um, where's my sword? Where is my sword of destiny and doom? There is my sword of destiny and doom. Um, Right then. <laughs> what the hell did we do again? At least in Resident Evil 4 I had the excuse that I hadn't done it all in six months. As opposed to now, it was just last week. <laughs> about eight, uh, about six days ago. But, um, let me see. We had to use the memory scanner. Oh, we can actually see her taking the uh, necklace off this time. And putting it in the vase, indeed. I shall be having this, please. Thank you very much. Um, and then the Mobius file, indeed. Right then, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath, and I have no idea what I'm doing or uh, where to get what I wanted to get. When did the first execution chamber appear? I feel like it was probably after we killed the first guy. Like, we killed the murderer and then it probably appeared over there, uh, as best I can recall. So, um, I will go and murder a murderer, and, um, in the meantime, I'll tell you the, um, no kitty. I'll tell you the boring and not very interesting story about um, about why this game is so special to me. So, as I said, um, when I many years ago, can't get my words straight. Die! You didn't die. You, you're not really dying. Right. It's quite effective when you boil it down. <laughs> Let's go back to the good old-fashioned hammer. Um, yes, yeah, back when this game first came out, like 2014, 2005, uh, 2015, I saw it played, and when I was watching it, I was rather sick, shall we say, and not in the street sense. I was, in fact, just extremely ill. And it was a, like a long, long um, playlist of the, of, the, of, the, of the game being played that I was watching through. Um, much like the way that I've done it, like hour-long episodes and many, many of them. And that still isn't any easier to see. Um, and I was very ill at the time and I was just uh, kind of lying on the sofa semi-watching the series, uh, while sort of drifting in and out of um, kind of half-sleep, half-awake. You know how it is when you're ill and you can kind of slightly sleep a bit, but not really, and it's not restful sleep, and um, you just kind of wish you were dead when you're very ill. You know how it is. This is surprisingly effective. <laughs> I can't have time to finish my boring story at this rate. Um, yeah, and I don't know about you, but when, when, when I'm in that kind of feverish, sickly way, and you're kind of falling asleep and waking up, it can be very disorienting, particularly if you get a lot of nightmares, which I do, and when I would wake up from my kind of half sleep, I would feel very kind of unsettled and unsure of what was going on, and having that series going on in the background just having that voice that I was familiar with there in the background as I was 
as I was sort of drifting in and out of consciousness. Kind of just grounded me and allowed me to um, just feel a bit safer because maybe I wasn't sure of exactly where I was or, or what was going on or, or why I felt as awful as I did. I knew that... Um, I knew that everything was okay because I could still hear that voice. And when is this bloody thing going to appear? Um, yeah, so so it was kind of nice just to have that um, have that kind of nice, friendly voice there to sort of look after me and keep me kind of company, as it were, um, in its own kind of silly way, while I was not feeling very well. Um, and it's that kind of sense of. It's that kind of sense of um, sort of companionship commentary, I suppose, rather than fully comedic commentary, that I've tried to emphasise uh, on the channel and uh, in long-running series like this over over many years, um, over many years, over the three years. Uh, I referenced it a bit in the last annual talking video, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, that's just why this game is special to me, just because it, it kind of, even though it's sort of like a horrible, scary game full of demons and monsters and death and all, it kind of, um, it personifies to me at least the, um, the memory and the idea of what a, um, oh no, this is the really long difficult one, I'll RPG him in the face, that'll make everything better, no I won't because I haven't got any RPGs. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it just is like the game that I think of when I think of that kind of companionship commentary. So um, it's kind of a bit special for me for that reason. But uh, anyway, I, I apologise for drivelling on endlessly and boringly about stuff that doesn't matter. Giddy art, this thing moves slowly. I need to get the living hell out of here. Um, yes, anyway, that's my boring and interesting story about why I like this game. I told you it wasn't very exciting. And I am. Um, I made you wait for it, but anyway, um, I am going to try and get us to a point, wherever that point is, where we have the, um, the last, uh, execution fight to have, because if that's going to involve Sebastian, then that's going to be very interesting, and I really want to see that. So give me a minute. What the hell is he doing? He seems very cross about something, doesn't he? Hi, friends. I wish he'd get out of the way of that angel statue and I'd be able to shoot him. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll get us to wherever it is that we can see this thing and then we can party hell. Then we can see what's there going on. Hmm? How about... Right then. Here is at least an execution chamber. Goodness only knows whether it's the right one or not. But let's go in here and bash some people in the face and see what happens. This will potentially be the very end or this will be completely the wrong thing. I have no idea if you were the same person that arrived last time or not. I seem to remember they weren't pimply for, for a while. I feel like the pimply people turned up slightly later, or maybe because this is New Game Plus they're just throwing slightly harder enemies at me? I don't know. I really hope I don't have to replay through the entire DLC, because it's going to take like an hour if I have to get like all the way to the end. Especially fighting Joseph. Joseph's going to be a pain in the neck to go through again. But, um... Ooh, how about I look it up and then I give you a solid conclusion? Hmm? How about I do that? Right, it is at the end of the game. <laughs> you have to go through the whole bloody game again in order to get there. But, for some silly reason that I failed to understand, I will do that. So, I will get back through the entire game again, right up to the end point, And then, I'll show you the final execution chamber. Hmm. Well, that speeds things up a bit. I thought I just had to go a bit longer than that. That's why I was sitting here eating a bag of chocolate. <laughs> I do apologise, we just got through the bathroom with Joseph. As you can tell by the amount of damage I took, I was rushing through it. Alright. We, um... We need to, um... We need to restock on some stuff, to be quite frank. I feel like the dynamite would probably be very useful. 
I, I, I probably should get some more traps. I'm gonna... I don't know if I get that, I can't get anything. Mmm... Definitely get the Molotovs, definitely need the Molotovs. Um, and then we'll get the, the... that as well. And that. Here we are, we're not brilliantly well equipped, and of no health. I've just, no, I do, because I think there's still the one under the stairs, unless I'm mistaken. Yes, there is, that's good. Right then. There we are, that's 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 mostly enough. Now, where is this portal exactly? I'm not totally sure I know where. Um, we never really used this part of the area. I wonder whether it might possibly be in here. Because what it seems to be is that we battle uh, Sebastian, judging by the name. You kindly leave me alone. I'm trying to do things here and finish up a beloved series, if you don't mind. Not sure anyone else loved it, but I certainly did. Right then. <laughs> um, so it's either somewhere here in the manor, except not that way, because that would get my face blown up, or I want to follow the... Um, follow my daughter. Because the way I was looking at it, what I could see anyway, it looked like you access it um, kind of right at the end of the game. Uh, just where we uh, went off to battle the Dark Executioner. It seemed like it was right there, but then that little clip seemed to apply to actually someone else. Or somewhere else, even. I can't speak. Um, let me quickly just check through these rooms. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Can't actually move your face out of the way. That's much appreciated. Let me just check that it's not anywhere around here. Here it is, right then. Apparently this is really difficult and I'm going to die a lot according to some of the little bits of uh, information I couldn't help reading. Okay, I'm going to get down here where it's, it's quiet and safe. There he is. Does he have his coat? No, of course not. He does have the magnum, however, which is going to be a pain in my neck. Oh, bloody hell. Literally a pain. Okay, this is a problem. I can't even get under the thing to keep myself safe for goodness sake this is going to be rather difficult I see what they I see what they meant now let me try doing a trap because trap will definitely stop a man with a gun from killing him right he, he didn't really go over there Phil he kind of went a different way you might have been kitty on this some other twist set it off and then I got shot again kitty on maybe I should Ooh, hell is that? oh there's no one sorry I thought that was Joseph for a moment Goodness, he's got a lot of health and a lot of damage as well. Can I run the hell away? Because I seem to be in a little bit of a pickle at the moment. And there's no health kit here, like there was with Joseph. That's probably because I used it while I was fighting Joseph, because I was being incredibly aggressive instead of incredibly sensible. Alright. No guarantees whatsoever that I'm going to be able to win this. But, um, I shall certainly do my utmost. Alright, where is he? He's over there, and I'm dead. It's not. Turns out when the computer's in charge of Sebastian, Sebastian is much better around than when I'm in charge of Sebastian. Alright. Now, where are you going to put it back to? Here, which is the reasonable place to put it back to. Are you constantly going to respawn me with these dinguses here all the time? Presumably you are. Alright. Let me try and be a bit more clever about this. Oh yeah, this is another thing that I, I, I meant to say when we were playing the... Um, the dark execution of fight, but I didn't uh, because I forgot. When you lose a fight and you respawn, you regenerate your health, as does the enemy, obviously. What doesn't happen is that your ammunition doesn't regenerate. So you'll notice now that I have an empty chainsaw, even though previously I had two things in my chainsaw. Or fire, for crying out loud. Effective bloody gun. Well, that was effective. If I could hit him two or three times with that, I'd be in business. But I'm not, because I'm not gonna. Cause I'm gonna have to like go out and do loads of little execution chambers, earn up enough money in order to restock myself before I can then come back and have another go at this, which is gonna be a massive pain in my bum and require a million to billion jump cuts. But never mind. Where is he? Is he he's just over on the other side of that wall, isn't he? Which isn't great. Hi friend. Get to you. I am not getting shot in the face by you again. Come on, 
because at the moment I actually don't think that surviving is going to be the hardest thing here. I think the hardest thing is actually just going to be a case of, um, uh, not running out of bullets, essentially. Which is weird for a melee game, you wouldn't think that would be the, that would be the main concern. That's weird, that's just where I wanted that to go. Well, this is going marvellously, isn't it? Giddy aunt. Alright. Let's turn the police tactics on themselves and use uh, Joseph's favourite weapon for this. What the hell is that? I don't know. He didn't step in the fire. Why didn't you step in the fire? He, he, he's impervious to fire. The man's fireproof. He's been reading too much of Inquiry Within upon everything or reading how to make his clothes fireproof. Frickin' fireproof. It's not fair, honest, it's not. Alright, let's blow him up with some dynamite. Chew, stop laughing, mate. Nothing I've said is that it is any. This man is just frickin' invincible, isn't he? This doesn't seem in the slightest bit fair. Do I still have an RPG? No, I don't. I have one hit on my knife, which I'm gonna use on you, because I have the competency of a cretin. Um... Now what? Now that. That's not what I wanted to be honest. If that had been a health kit, I'd have been a happy bunny. But it wasn't a health kit, so I'm not happy, and I'm also not a rabbit. You may have noticed that. Contrary to my large overdrawn, t overdrawn teeth, I'm not a rabbit. Okay, he's reading his gun, that's great. <laughs> Alright. With a hell of a lot of stuff in terms of traps and dynamite and molotovs and knife, probably not the knife actually, but most importantly the rocket launcher, I could do that. The problem, the massive problem, is earning the money to actually get that, which is going to take all freaking day. But. For your sake, and for the sake of the series, I want to show you that uh, victory to so that. Because presumably you get something. Maybe the Magnum? Maybe? Maybe you get the Magnum uh, for winning that fight? I can't... Or maybe the... Maybe the crossbow? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you get something. Maybe you don't. I haven't got a ball these. All I know is that... Um, all I know is this is going to take a long, long time, but I'm still going to try and do it, so um, give me a while, I'm going to save up lots of money, and then I'm going to try again. Right, just need to do some squats to get myself ready so I'm properly physically fit for this. Right, I'm not in the slightest bit ready for this. I've got my three traps, I've got one Molotov, I've got two bits of dynamite, and I've got two rocket launcher shells. I'm not currently able to buy an increase to the number of rocket launcher shells that I can get. I have nothing in my sword and nothing in my chainsaw, but that's alright because there's a high, high vicinity weapons, shall we say. They're not exactly um, to be used over the distances. So we're going to try this again. It's going to involve entirely hiding in this cupboard. And I'm basically just going to try an RPG him twice in the face. And then, hopefully, if we're lucky, I might get a bit of dynamite on him. And basically nothing else. I'm kind of entirely and wholeheartedly dependent on the RPG. Can he shoot me from here? I mean, probably. He just does so much damage and he's got devilish levels of accuracy. I can see why people say this is so difficult. Come on. I want him to be absolutely on top of me. I, I wanted him to be absolutely on top of me, but it's not going to work because this frickin' idiot is here and I can't get my weapons straight! I hate this bloody scroll wheel! Why couldn't it be a wheel like we had in the main frickin' game? Would you stop trying to shoot me? I'm in the middle of a cutscene! Would you stop shooting me? There we are. See, 
three three hits with that and he'd be dead. He'd be dead a dozen ways to Sunday, he'd be dead. He's not, I don't think he's close enough to me. See, he isn't affected by the dynamite. What is going on with that? See, he's right on top of it. Well, I shot him in the face, but it didn't really work. I mean, I kind of shot him in the face, but it didn't really work. So I've no dynamite. I've got one Molotov, a few trail. I've never been able to trap the bastard either. No, you are not shooting me in the face, mate. I have come too far. I fought too much. The thing is, is most of the money that I use in order to... Most of the money went in my rocket launcher, which is fine. I want to spend most of my money on the rocket launcher. The thing is... You see, friends, Romans, and countrymen. Idiot. The last one is particularly associated with him if you drop half a syllable. I, I have no idea what I'm really talking about. I got most of the money just by kind of raiding boxes and stuff instead of actually fighting. So you see the problem? problem, dearest compadres, is that I can't do that again. I'm going to have to do the execution chamber like five times in a row in order to get any money at all. Chew, stop freaking shooting me. I'm just trying to live my life. I think, oh, kitty. Oh. No, no. I'm still alive. Look at over there. What the hell am I meant to hit him with at this point? I need a third shell. The problem is if I step out there, he's going to shoot my face. <laughs> oh, come on. I just want to bloody win this. The problem is, is when you get down here, he realises that, and then he, he comes in here like a big clever person. He does that. Bloody hell. What the hell am I going to do? So that's what the grease off my keyboard from my sweating fingers from the stress of all this. Uh, you know what would be a sensible thing to do, actually? I've just realised. A sensible thing to do would actually be to make a save. Like, gear yourself up with everything, right? With Molotov, with dynamite, with sword, with chainsaw, with rocket launcher, with absolutely everything. Then make a save, and then when you die, go back to your save. That would be a much more sensible thing to do. Because all of this is just so bloody expensive. <sighs> See, look, if I want to get the... Just get the rocket launcher. Nothing else but the rocket launcher. That cost me 80. So much money. <sighs> I wonder if there's like a free money hack cheat thing you can use. The higher movement speed would actually be a real boon at this point. I don't have any appropriate saves, do I? Other than like going back and doing the whole bloody thing again, which I don't want to do either. Oh, this is such a pain! This is such a pain in the neck, because I just want to show off the ending of the game, and I can't because I'm too crap at it. Fine, I'll do this execution chamber about seven times, and then maybe I'll have scraped enough money together. I just want to end the series with a bang instead of a plop. Let me give you a little update on where we are and what's going on in Bonkers City. Thank goodness for that. So I decided that just going through the basic execution chamber again and again and again would take too long to earn more money. So what I decided to do was to fight the rest of the bosses, right? Because that would earn more money because you get a fair amount of money out of each of them. So I went down there, followed my daughter in order to go off and fight the rest of the people, like RPG Man and uh, and so forth. And 
Uh, what I realized is that once you go down there, there's no way to access Sebastian's boss fight. There is not a second portal, as I was initially under the uh, belief that there was. Because when it turned out I was looking at the walkthrough in order to try and figure out where the, where the portal of the boss fight was, I was actually looking at the wrong portal, because that was a totally different one, but never mind. What matters is that once you go through that door, you can't access Sebastian's boss fight anymore, which means I had to go through the entire game again. However, because I've gone through the entire game again, literally an entire loop, I've earned up buttloads of money. As you can see, I have 550 coins, which is actually way less than I ought to have because, just before going to fight Joseph, I got the final upgrade in the hammer, the final upgrade in the movement speed, and my health gauge. And that was like 60, and that was 100, and that was 100, so I had over 700 points there, so it was brilliant. And then a cable hid the microphone, which was less brilliant, but never mind. What are we going to do, now that we're able to fight Sebastian again, is we're going to make two saves. We're going to have this save, which is my pre-buying save. Then we're going to buy a load of crap, so that we are armed to the bloody teeth. Then we're going to save again, then we're going to go fight Sebastian. Then every single time I die, I can load back to that save and I'll have all my stuff. So the most important thing that I need, beyond all else, is this. I have to have that. Oh, and now you can actually buy this. There we are. I've now got ten bullets. I can basically just RPG the man in the face from here until doomsday. Good thing I had so much bloody money. What else should I get? Um, I could get dynamite and molotovs. Mm, the dinner seemed to be a hell of a lot of use to me, because frankly, frankly, he seems to just be impervious to these bloody things. I guess we'll go for the things. Right. So it seems like I could probably kill him with three hits, which means I only need an accuracy rating of 33%. So, what could possibly go wrong? I've only been at this for like two freaking hours. Alright, here's my extra post-shopping spree save. Now, we can go and fight Sebastian, and we can move really quickly, and we've got lots of health, and oh yeah, this, because I haven't been in there, because I haven't been buying anything. The other difficulty is not just going through the whole game again, which was tough, I had to go through the whole game again with only the hammer, because I couldn't afford to be wasting money on molotovs and dynamite and traps and things, so I had to just go through with the bloody hammer, which was... Oh, gosh, I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're going to do this this time. I didn't think it would let me upgrade the uh, ammo capacity, so I'm really glad that it did. Okay, we are going to do this. <laughs> Mano e rocket launcher. <laughs> okay, we can do this. I mean, probably not, but we'll try. <laughs> we'll bloody try. There's bloody kills, mate. I might shut up for a minute if that's alright with you. Why did everyone say that boss fight was so hard? It's not, you just rocket launch him in the face! The, oh! Oh, I mean of course it bloody is! What is that, like a one hit kill? <laughs> oh, put the rocket launcher down, you crackpot! How much does that cost? Probably like a billion dollars, but alright. Two hundred and fifty. Enemies drop more memory tokens. Well, that's good. That's an investment. You'd have to kill about ninety-two of them before you made your money back, but who cares? <laughs> What's this, then? I've done everything, surely. Or is that like something you unlock once you've bought the final thing? I don't know, but frankly, I have to leave it there because I've been at this all day. Literally. <laughs> Literally all day. <laughs> I'm so... 
Uh, but I'm glad. I'm glad I went through that. I'm glad I... I don't know why, because literally all I showed you was Sebastian falling over after getting hit in the face with three RPG shells, and then a golden hammer picture. But never mind. You can't say that I'm not committed. I'm a cretin, but I'm a committed one. Alright then, that's it. That's the end of the Executioner DLC, and that is the end of The Evil Within. I love this game very much, as I said before. It feels like, well, I was going to say it feels like hours ago. It was hours ago that I told you why this game is so special to me. I really do love this game. Um, not just because it's a great game for what it is, but as I said, you know, my sort of special connection in it always reminds me of what this kind of, uh, the real value of YouTube, I think, in this kind of companionship commentary, which I try to work towards, and I've realised through my frustration as the camera has gotten off kilter, and we pulled on that with a little green dot. Sorry about that, can't turn that off. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I'll just say where we're going with series in the future, and then we will stop. Before I say that, actually, I just want to say that, um, as you've already s possibly already seen, because I've already done it, even though I haven't done it yet, but I will do, hopefully, by the time you hear these words, if I haven't forgotten, I'm going to start using the community post on YouTube as well. Um, the camera moves again. It's my knee bumping in the underneath the desk, I think. Um, I'm going to start using the community post on YouTube to tell about, like, the next upcoming series, because it struck me the other day that if you don't like, for example, if a hypothetical person didn't like The Evil Within, then they wouldn't know what series was coming next, because they wouldn't watch this part of the last video that would tell them what was coming next. So I'm going to start using the community posts in order to communicate that information a bit more widely, um, and also so that you don't have to go on Twitter in order to hear this kind of crap, because goodness knows nobody wants to go there anymore. I mean, no one really wants to go there in the first place, but you'll get the point. We're not even a rag on Twitter. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, I think we're going to have a two-week break uh, from the series, and then we are going to, due to the fact that the last three major series, I believe, um, this, Resident Evil 4, and The Beast Inside, have all been uh, kind of um, proper horror games. I thought we'd have a nice change of pace, and we would play Shadows Over Loathing, which is the much-anticipated uh, uh, sequel to West of Loathing, which we played a ways back. Um, just over a year ago, I think. I think we started September of um, the previous, not last year, but the year before that, I think. Um, goodness, I can't remember when. But um, yeah, I had no idea they were making a sequel uh, until someone told me about it, and about two days before it was released. So, um, yep, we'll do that next, because I think that would be nice just to have a little change of pace, just to have something a little bit more relaxed and laid back, and a little bit more fun, uh, as opposed to all of this uh, gorelicious death and horror. Just a little change of pace. I think that will be quite nice. Um, so anyway, that's the plan. Two week break, then Shadows of Loathing. In terms of series, thank you very much for joining me this evening, for most of the day, frankly. <laughs> but never mind, it's been a productive day, I suppose. I really look forward to editing all of this footage together. This video's going to be bloody long by this point. But never mind, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had such a blast playing the series. Um, Thank you very much for joining me for however much of it you've been here for. Look after each other and good night. Kitty, <laughs> the national anthem of this series is that when we end the video we have to do some squats. <laughs>